let's talk about how to actually navigate around Janaris and how to stop getting lost. This is a huge map and it's not unusual to lose your bearings, suffer disorientation or even sometimes do a full circle and end up back on the coast. This used to happen to me a lot. But there are a number of ways that can help you gain control of your surroundings and put you in the direction you want to be heading in. I'll start with coastal navigation and then move on to general navigation to help you on the inland. As always, if you find the video helpful, please leave a like. It genuinely helps me so much. I'm such a small channel. I always say it because it really does make a difference. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Well, this is ominous. One of the first things you should know is when you spawn, you always face north. This can help you immediately identify if you're on the south coast or the east coast. But take a good look around because the coast isn't always a straight line and if you spawn on a headland it's easy to get mixed up when the ocean is all around you. So don't be too worried if it looks as though the water has spawned to the left of you. Just note that north is where you started and walk a little while to find your bearings. As you probably know, if you spawn on the east coast, your end goal will be to head west towards the inland. If you spawn on the south coast, your end goal will be to head north. Always keep the sea in your back to head in the correct direction from the coast you're on. Furthermore, and this was literally told to me two days ago by a randomer, when you spawn, if you encounter the tracks before the road, you're on the south coast between Electro and Kamenka. Whereas if you find the road and then the tracks, you're on the east coast between Electro and Berezino. For me personally, if I'm on the south coast, I will usually travel right towards Electro and Cherno. This gives me a really good start for me to be able to head north inland. Knowing this information gives you an advantage of where you should be traveling to, with your main goal likely finding a large city. One of the easiest ways to find one if there isn't one in sight, travel down the road until you come to a blue sign. This will tell you how far the next town or city is, and it shows you the direction it's indicated. Once you find a town or city, you'll come across these white signs indicating which one it is. And if you come across a white sign with a red mark through it, that means you're leaving that town. Now, this is how it goes in a perfect world, but things don't always go to plan in DayZ, so we'll explore more ways to find cities in a little while. First, you should at least know the cities you need to be trying to find. If you want to find a specific city when you first start, maybe to meet up with friends, or because they provide arguably the best place to begin your journey on the coast, it's really easy to figure out where you are relative to where they are. There are six main coastal cities. In order from top to right, bottom to left, they are, oh this should be fun, Svetlo, Berezino, Solnichny, Electro and Cherno. That did not go as smooth as I've just made it look. The best way to remember the order of these cities is with the simple sentence, stop being so easily cold. Something we can all relate to in day Z. Each letter of the first word represents the name of a city. Stop, Svetlo, being, Berezino, so, Solnichny, easily, Electro, Cold, Cherno. The word itself represents the order. This coupled with an understanding of your cardinal position, giving you a respawn facing north, you'll be able to tell immediately where about you are on the coast and how far you are from that specific city. This is especially helpful when trying to reach exact areas. Don't worry guys, I'm coming too. Yep. Yeah. Uh. Oh, crap, that sounded like a leg. Ah, oh, damn it. When you're on the inland, however, you have different methods of navigation at your disposal. First thing to know, as in real life, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Knowing this allows you to pick your direction based on its location in the sky. However, during midday, it's a little more difficult to gauge the exact position using the sun. But as a general rule, if you're heading away from the sun in the middle of the day, you're likely heading north because the sun stays in the southern side of the hemisphere when it appears in the sky. Furthermore, in day Z, the clouds always head east if you can see them. So if there are clouds to see, you should be able to identify the direction you're traveling in based on them. Now you've probably noticed I've been talking about directions in the daytime, but what about the night time when the sun has set? Well, there are ways to help you there too. Now, we've established that clouds travel east in day Z, but during the night, 
the stars do the opposite and travel west across the sky. Just look straight up and you should see some slight movement. Whichever way that movement occurs is around about the west. Alternatively, as also in real life, you are able to use the plow to navigate, or as it's known in other places, the Big Dipper. Using this star constellation, you can quite easily locate the North Star, which will help you determine which direction you should be moving towards. To do this, look for this constellation in the sky. When you find it, follow the two stars at the end in an almost straight line. This will reveal a north star, indicating you're heading towards the northern area of the map. But even if you know which way you're facing, sometimes you have no idea where the nearest town or city is. The best way to find them, other than surveying from a castle or tower, is to try and follow any power lines or train tracks. Power lines always lead to cities or towns, as do train tracks. There are also lots of physical aids you can find and rely on too. You can find boards like this showing your exact location in red. You can find maps in and around DayZ, especially in summer camps, and you can find compasses too. To use the compass, you will need to be in first person alternatively you can place it in your hotkey either at the bottom on pc or in your wheel on console and every time you look at them it'll appear with live directions oh i can hear somebody just entered i should probably say hello to let them know i'm here i'm going to eat your children oh they left that brings us to an end 